the Mamotion Luba robot mower. You can see it's definitely had a bit of a workout. We've had it for three months. I did the initial install. We put the charging station over in the corner. We put the antenna up, but we have now moved it into a better spot where we're more comfortable. It's getting a better signal. And then the charging station is right out of the way down here. And I wanted to wait a little bit of time just to get used to it and see how it actually goes over time rather than giving you a review or my thoughts from one or two mows. The lawn was almost close to dead last time as well so after a lot of mows, a lot of rain, the lawn is looking absolutely fantastic. We've left it for almost a week so that we can get a nice fresh clean mow and show you how it goes on this grass. And look, so far it's been extremely good. It's had a few glitches here and there, a few little problems, but nothing that would definitely stop me from buying one of these. So some of these smaller problems were just getting caught up on the ledge here. We did make it go probably about 150 to 200 in off all the boundaries. And also around things like the wheels here, all these, Around here as well, there are a lot of obstacles in this yard. So if you do have almost no obstacles, it'll definitely make it a lot easier, but it still gets around them. It does go under the trailer, which is absolutely fantastic. Now and then it will go a little bit deep and then sort of get stuck under there. But for the most part, it gets everything done under there. It will lose reception now and then if it's under there for too long. And then also when it's very overcast, it will also lose signal. It'll notify you and turn off. But on a day like this, it's definitely got no problems whatsoever. As you can see, she's starting to make a few lines down here. We have got this running both ways. So we're going length and then we're going side to side. It does do a lot better cut. So you can see all the way around here, it's the same sort of thing. You're not going to get it hard up on any edge, but it's pretty close. If you run through with your trimmer, it's going to be no problems. That's not even not even 100 mil right there, all the way down. As you can see, it's a pretty large yard with a few sections. So we've got this section right down the back, and then we've got this long section here. We've got this little front section, and then we've got a little bit more down here and then a tiny bit right down the front. So all of these are now shown on the app and we've made different areas for each one. You've got one, two, three, four. And the way you can click on the areas that you wanted to mow. So if you don't want to do it at the front today, you can just do the back and then you can open the gates and then let it do the front. Really love that feature. It's great that you don't have to just let it do the whole yard in one go. You might not be around and you don't want it out the front, so you can pick and choose where you want the mower to go. So when it comes to battery life, this will get all of what I've just shown you, all of that lawn done, and it's got 50% left, which, which is pretty damn good. It sends itself back after it has less than 15% battery, so you don't have to worry about charging it. It'll go back home and do it itself. The height that we're cutting on at the moment is 30 millimeters. You can see it's definitely getting the job done, especially after doing that second pass. So with 50% battery, it will also do both ways. So it goes this way and it goes that way. So now she's going up and down. She's now going side to side. Starts that automatically and you can see on the screen which way it's going. And you can follow those lines on the app and it'll tell you exactly where it's done and basically where it's going next. So you can see he's taking himself home after doing all that. And that's what it looks like after going both ways. So that took about an hour, 60 minutes. And so I'll change it and we'll go to, so that's that little front area. Save 30 mil, so that'll take 
23 minutes. Double grid, we'll just do single grid. Confirm, 30 mil height, start. Just ready to go. Oh yeah, there we go. I haven't seen that before. So I was saying the area is not mowed by Luba for a long time. So it's been about a week. So it's for the first time. Recommended height is 50 mil. I think it should be fine though. So I've clicked OK and look how quick that is. She's off and racing. So it says 15 minutes. Tells you the percentage is mowed. So it's now pretty overcast and it is raining a little bit. She's kept going. You can make it go back when it picks up that it's raining. So you can have that as an automatic feature. We are now changing it. There we go, straight away. It's gonna go across the path, start doing over there. But how good is this? It's not having to get wet when you're mowing. Just let old Roberto do its thing. And we are now doing it manually. We can also up the speed on it. You can change the speed meters per second. So that's on 0.6. So now she rolls a bit quicker. So that's with the blades off. You can turn the blades off just by pressing the start button. But we're just taking it home. So you can put it in manually, but we'll just get it set up. And we'll just hit the charge button. Do you want to return to the charging station? Yes, we do. So that's with no remote. Should just do it by itself. There you go, she's charging. All done. And look at that. That is a fantastic job. The Luba 3000 does also have a scheduling system, so you don't have to do it manually and you don't have to look after it whatsoever. It'll go out on its own on the dates that you put it down and it will come back and recharge by itself. You can also change the areas that it'll mow. You can change the mow height and you can also change the way that it mows, whether you're doing the grid or the single line pattern. Another thing I haven't mentioned is that it doesn't require any boundary wires. It uses purely GPS. So you don't have any of those unsightly wires that you've got to run all the way around your lawn. So this is the Luba 3000 model, which means it will get up to 3000 square meters mode. It's also three hours runtime. And after that runtime, it'll take 150 minutes to charge from dead. So I'll have a look underneath and these are the blades, they're only little razors, they come with spares. But this is after three months, I haven't swapped any, they're all looking pretty good. That one could do I guess with a change but still cut nice. So originally I was very skeptical on whether these robot mowers could replace your normal mower, but after three months of use, we are extremely happy with it. We have no complaints whatsoever. We're definitely gonna keep using it and I'll keep you guys up to date with it. And if you are chasing any other information on the product, I'll leave it all in the description. And if you're chasing any other reviews that I've done, check them out here. I'll catch you later.